All right, fire's going. We have Win Trade Friends featuring Kasai Kage, Ruja Thorne, Finch Curador, Dandy Lion, Lu- Lucia Montmorency, Lucio Harundo, and Zipris Alsbane. And according Man. to chat, Finch is quite hot. Gone, Finch. Finch's Black Mage has definitely been a force in this tournament so far. Their path to get here has been pretty similar, going all the way into this uh, round two of the upper bracket, but eventually losing to Under the Eelfluence in one of the tighter series that we've seen yesterday in a two to one series that ended on on that clock town. Now, we were definitely fighting uh, to see a lot of that Black Mage, but a lot of that match ended up with Finch on White Mage. There, we're trying out some different comps, uh, at least for some of that series. It's definitely going to be interesting to see whether or not they stick with that experimentation now that, uh, now that the stakes are raised, or whether or not Finch is going to go back to that Black Mage. Meanwhile, on Team Umbra, we've got Vert Kittens. We do have Vert Kittens. With their Vert Claws. We can... Pull that one up. Would you like to introduce them, Vivian? All right, sounds good. So on the team of Ver Kittens, we've got Tiny Sose, Krana Visitus, Fine Motion, Big Suck, John Dark Souls, Mount Boop, and Buzzy Wuzzy. Now, this is a team that has really, like, again, these are experienced players who've been playing the solo queue game, have been part of the CC community for most of its existence, and really put up a pretty solid fight against one of the stronger teams in this tournament, Fug Shaker General, in that round two fight, eventually losing to them in a 2-0. Here they are again at their shot at redemption inside of the lower bracket. It's gonna be interesting to see how they end up uh, adapting to some of the uh, challenges that they were facing earlier. While we saw a lot of Success on the side of her kittens on the back of John Dark Souls and his ability to really, really uh, make use of Paladin's ability to cover. Uh, we also saw some of the uh, problems with this team when they're not able to capitalize on that, when John Dark Souls is occasionally heavily focused as a target. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not uh, he's going to be able to do his job in this match. Absolutely. All right. Uh... Looks like we are all ready to go. Both teams have solidly, uh, have confirmed their team compositions. We are heading into the Volcanic Heart. We are indeed. And let's see what this portrait game looks like. Their kittens has a very strong portrait game. Uh, oh, we'll did I say about... let them fight? Sorry, I meant win trade friends. <laughs> WTF, LTF, you know, the TFs. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess they're probably sister teams now, even if they didn't mean to be, now that we've all recognized their initials <laughs> are just one letter off. All right. On Astra, we have um, a mixed bag, not gonna lie. Don't, two, look like two had a good theme going and the rest said no. And on Ver Kittens, we have everyone asking you to please be quiet and Big Suck leading the library, apparently. All right, yeah, it looks like we are seeing something close to mirror compositions, or at least we are seeing the two healer, three DPS comps. And it looks like Finch is going to be playing on that Astro instead of on the Black Mage. It's going to be interesting to see what motivates these decisions, especially on uh, on Volcanic Heart. Definitely want to point out the Reaper here. Now, Wintrade Friends' Reaper absolutely popped off in previous matches, going top damage for what is basically a tank class. Definitely worth keeping your eyes on this and their early uh, LB, see whether or not they can make use of that advantage. Meanwhile, yeah. on Team Umbra, we do not have the Paladin. Exactly, yeah, I was about to say, we don't see John Dark Souls out here, so. Definitely gonna be interesting to see what they're doing, especially considering how divergent the meta has become with uh, in comps with Paladin and comps without Paladin. Definitely gonna be interesting to see whether or not they can get that burst coordination on with that monk, with that ninja, with that bard. Yeah, uh, we are seeing early damage out on fine motion and death warrant on them, so they are probably the kill target there. But it looks like they survived the death warrant and they're retreating successfully. Uh, meanwhile, WTF's white mage does go down. So that puts the Ver Kittens at Ed or in the lead at the moment. Will they succeed in pushing or will WTF try to retreat? Let's see what's happening. They're fighting on the point and down goes Mountain Boop incredibly quickly. That was a oh, very one for slick. one in the Reaper LB comes out though. Yeah, it was a very slick switch by uh, left or by <laughs> WTF to uh, pull that kill off on Mountain Boop, who's notoriously hard to kill. 
Uh, down goes their Reaper, though. It is still advantage to the Kittens, who have Monk LB and Ninja LB about to come up on top of Fine Motion's White Mage LB. Fine Motion going down, though, being hard run down by WTF. And the Crystal's not making a lot of progress, despite the fact that Kittens has had a bit of an edge here for the past, uh, well, since this fight uh, made its first pick. Does uh, he use uh, his Meteor Drive? Does. Will it? Oh, but it's countered or followed up by White Mage LB buying some space. Down goes Tiny Sosig and down goes the White Mage, though. So we are 4v4. This is really an uh, intense game with trades for every single pick so far. Oh, Fuzzy Wuzzy, low mana also. running. Oh, Kei Kasakage also ended up using the Seitan in order to try to keep that snowball rolling, even as Team Umbro was finally retreating. So they're down that major, major limit break in order to help them win the subsequent team fight. So they right. still got these fast charging LBs, especially with this Reaper, especially with the Summoner that hasn't been used yet. So they're still doing okay, but without that Ninja LB, we're going to see, oh, Reaper Out goes here. the Reaper LB, out goes the uh, Summoner LB to follow up, down goes the Reaper, uh, but they make the pick on Fine Motion, the White Mage who had the LB, that's going to be Huge Buzzy Wuzzy has LB coming up, but will they be able to get to use it? Tiny Sosick appears to be the kill target for now, though. Uh, Buzzy Wuzzy using that LB on Finch. Finch goes down. It is now 4 3 in favor of the kittens, but Buzzy Wuzzy, low mana, will he be able to retreat out of here? It does look like he will, and he will be using his elixir while WTF pulls back to try to regroup. Nope, the Reaper going in to buy some time. Will he pay for it, though? That is the question. Fuzzy. Five LBs used and still no solid control of the point on the behalf of... Fuzzy Wuzzy going friends. down. Oh, Fuzzy WTF. going down. Uh, WTF still has White Mage LB, too. That was actually Fine Motion's White Mage LB. Out goes WTF's White Mage LB. Not so much effect, although last uh, yesterday, their White Mage was an absolute sniper with those things. So, Team Astra uh, ends up calling the retreat with the, uh, with the push advantage in order to try to get that regroup. I don't know how much I like this, especially considering Team Astra's LBs are still currently up. They've got the Reaper LB again. That is up all the time. And, they got and they've the got that LB. Uh, they are ninja LB on the ninja to see whether or not they can get those initial chains. Oh, they're pushing past. Are they going to break the 42%? Oh, it looks like they might not. Mountain Boop gets hit in the back, though. Uh, Kasai Kage blowing Satan to make that pick. That could be huge, though. Significantly reducing that healing output. Down goes Tiny Soseg. This is going in favor of WTF. And they have finally exceeded the uh, Kitten's percentage, though. But... WTF 5v2 against the Kittens. The Kittens, Buzzy Wuzzy, about to probably go down here, and they will make it to the checkpoint at last. Someone uh, yeah. has finally made it to the checkpoint. Pretty solidly in control, too, especially with almost all of their limit breaks up again. That Reaper LB up almost again. It is up every 45 seconds with its movement, uh, with the Plentiful Harvest. And the fact that he hasn't really died, the fact that he's got two charges on it, uh, especially considering they've got the boost going, Phoenix goes out. Phoenix goes out. Interesting Phoenix choice. They're out. Trying, yeah, they're trying to blunt that that damage uh, from their kittens coming in with higher LBs. That is one of the better plays from a summoner uh, in situations like this. People who, if you don't know, Phoenix can reduce the damage done by uh, someone near it for by 50%. It's extremely powerful for just blunting a full LB storm. Tiny Sosig with Ninja LB. They go down, though, hard targeted by WTF. Buzzy Wuzzy trying to hold down the point, though. Does have his two healers still up and big suck. Well, uh, their WTF has their oh, white mage going down incredibly quickly. It looks like WTF is going to retreat here. Uh, will they be able to get moment. away? They've got yeah. a small moment, and that's a really rough fight, especially on the uh, on on behalf of the Wind Trade friends, because they use almost every limit break there, but it didn't end up having that much damage because they ended up choosing for that uh, Phoenix instead of the Bahamut. That might have been a clean team wipe, especially considering they had the LB advantage. Now they're facing down uh, what's probably going to be a Monk LB and definitely going to be a Satan chain. They are possibly they running out of time. They have Satan chain and Reaper themselves with the Summoner coming up shortly. They might be able to abuse Tiny Sosik here. Take them down. Yes, they will. Out goes the Ninja LB. Out goes the Reaper LB reused right after Buzzy Wuzzy uses his Monk LB so that no one on his team is able to follow it up with any meaningful damage as they were unfortunately feared. That is a very good play. Dandelion, oh, Luisia going down with White Mage LB still held. Dandelion has their LB back up. Will they blow Bahamut or will they blow Phoenix? That is the question. And it looks like the answer is Bahamut. They're going for that damage. They're trying to wipe it up. They do have the percentage advantage. They just need to keep the kittens from breaking the crystal and... Uh, preventing them from advancing. The Kittens have five, and WTF has four at the moment, but down goes Mountain Boop. 
That does put the advantage into WTF's hands. They have that Astrologian LB, but they're going to go down before they're able to use it. But the White Mage coming back in with White Mage LB. Off it goes. Down goes Fine Motion. Buzzy Wuzzy, big suck, very low. Actually, Buzzy Wuzzy doing all right on health. Big suck, very low, going to run away. Try to Elixir, and I think he will be successful in that. But they are just going to beat on Tiny Sosig on point, and Buzzy Wuzzy coming out of guard in one second, about to probably feel some serious pain. Big suck now on point, trying to hold it in guard. But out goes Reaper Fear. This might just be a Reaper instant. Nope, okay. Uh, fine, our Mountain Boop managing to touch the point. Just yeah, but fast it looks enough. real, real rough for Team Umbra here. It and does. just like that, Win Trade Friends takes game one. God, multiple, multiple team fights where, win, uh, where Team Astra was not able to make use of that Ninja LB. Definitely interesting to see just how important proper LB usage is and how important it is to make sure that you get those off, at least in some sort of effective manner, before you end up going down. Uh, big, big props to Win Trade Friends. Reaper LB. Now, Reaper LB normally has a 60 second charge. I believe it's 60, it might be 70. Yeah, it goes down to 45. It with, goes uh, down to 45, which is the important number, but it doesn't start at 45. So you need to be getting your Plentiful Harvest rolling basically as much as you are alive. And if you are dead, you're not charging LB. So the it really speaks a lot to the credit of uh, WTFs to play around. Or, yeah, win trade friend to play around this Reaper to keep him up and keep that fear, keep that guard break constantly going, constantly making use of that uh, high frequency, high value ultimate. Absolutely. Uh, we are back to Cloud9. We are. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look like we've games. seen any team right right they we haven't we haven't seen any team composition changes uh finch is still on the astro so haven't seen that black mage pulled out we'll see if he ex uh, ends up feeling like he needs to meanwhile uh definitely pressures on for team umbra for uh the ver kittens right now to try to make their way back they have to win this and then they have to win the next one otherwise they are out of the tournament balance mm -hmm. is drawn and reaper has burned arcane crest well, typical, uh, well, yeah, no, that was way too early, sorry. Oh, that's really um, bad. That's one of their biggest defensive spells mm, that makes it so that they can get that Plentiful Harvest maybe, off to start it, getting that LB charge. We'll see if they end up getting punished for it. They oh. might have enough time here. So, kids oh, have up? balance, and it looks like when Trade Friends doesn't want to engage on that, Lucia popping a very early guard trying to bait out some damage, but Kitten's not buying it. In fact, both teams have tried some very early guard bait maneuvers here. Tiny Sosig might wind up paying a price for it, though as they are the one last caught out, but it looks like they're going to Shikuchi away to safety, and we are having a, a cautious opener on both sides, with neither wanting to overcommit to a kill. Feeling oh, like the really... second they do, they might go down. Tiny Sosig getting low. Reaper LB is up, though. Now is the oh, danger that zone. fear Tiny comes Sosig out, but they start, they start on the edge of that fear circle, Tiny so Sosig maybe get down. a little bit of distance. Tiny Sosig goes down. Fine Motion's got the LB, but probably isn't going to rips in in order to try to get that follow-up kills, try to stem the bleeding, Does gets the kill on the Reaper. Does manage gets... to get it. Ooh, yeah, balance is the... back up. That could be huge for Kittens. It's going to be interesting, especially with that bonus damage, see whether or not Ooh. they can make use Buzzy. of the 44 advantage. Goes down with the Meteor Drive in order to kill the enemy White Mage with a uh, numbers advantage and with uh, Finch having used their Purify. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not Finch just, uh, whether a Team Astra ends up conceding this point. They still get that final pick onto the Summoner in order to get that last stagger. Indeed, and we saw Buzzy Wuzzy making that Monk LP on, with Balance up. That is just brutal. Um, the target he selected was already low, so I don't think it made the difference there, but... Very much could have if he was on a, a more full health target. Uh, yeah, we you will can see, see yeah. who gets a feather here. No one uh, yeah. got positioned for feathers. That's interesting. And Team Umbra has control oh, no. of the point managers to break past. Oh. That is two feathers for kittens, bringing them to full LBs, although there are nearly full LBs on the side of Wind Trade friends who are pushing the advantage right now. Out goes Ast LB. Will they follow it up with a Summoner or Ninja LB? Oh, that is it's so early. Art on the retreat. Just not they gonna see that Astro LB. The they Astro see LB. the massive amount of damage that Astro LB provides a team, and they fully respect it. With the percentage advantage, they just say, "Okay, we can just walk away. Go with the next fight." Oh, but looks this, like the fight's this, going. Yes, but if this does go badly for them, it may uh, absolutely lose them a lot of progress. Tiny Sosig goes down before getting that Ninja LB out, but so did uh, WTF's Ninja as well. Out goes the Summoner LB. It is a Phoenix. It's trying to buy some time there. 
all of Bear Kitten's LBs have been ripped with only one kill a, a success. Will the White Mage go down here for WTF? Possibly. They are low. They are hard CC'd. I don't think they're going to make it out of here, but maybe Finch has got some excellent healing going on. He does. Looks like they're alive for now. Will they be able to make it to the ground pot? Down goes another pick. Fine motion going down. Will this be a White Mage trade? Actually, it looks like Luisia is going to be able to survive, maybe get an elixir off while WTF continues to apply pressure. Buzzy Wuzzy in trouble. Buzzy Wuzzy goes down. Lucia, still the kill target, still low mana, not stopping to elixir. Down goes Tiny Sosig. That was Kasai Kage's Satan LB. A big suck also going down from a Satan chain. Oh, that that's is really, really rough on behalf of Team Umbra, especially with all those LBs uh, an advantage, and especially with Finch ending up not getting any value out of that Astro LB. That was their fight right. to win. And this is exactly what I was warning about, that they are now, the Kittens gave too much ground. They didn't want to fight under Astro LB, but they gave too much ground if they did lose the team fight, and they did. So now, here it is, WTF possibly about to walk in the crystal. They've got Reaper LB, out goes a White Mage LB. Buzzy Wuzzy in fear. Buzzy Wuzzy goes down right before his LB comes out. Tiny Sosik has that Ninja LB. Will they get an opportunity to use it? Seeing as how it's gone so far, WTF probably about to be hard on them next. Will they be able to get the pick? Tiny Sosik has almost no mana left while heals are being dumped into them. Out goes a Summoner LB. This could be huge. It is a Bahamut. Tiny Sosig still alive despite all that focus, despite a poly Indeed. burn. Oh, but the enemy Tiny White Mage. goes down, yeah. It looks like they uh, forced all the heals onto Tiny Sosig and then just swapped one of the healers. Mountain Boop, no mana. Going down next, going down next. Buzzy Wuzzy, LB going out, picking off Finch. The ask for WTF at the moment. We are seeing Reaper and Ninja LB about to come back up on WTF as well as that White Mage LB if the White Mage can survive this current burst that they are under and they do make a pick. Using Reaper LB onto Buzzy Wuzzy, Tiny Sosig goes down. This could be it, WTF. They could be looking at walking it in here. They don't Four have any LB left, though. 10 oh, seconds remaining. They're not going to walk it in, then. This is going to go to overtime, and we'll see if they're able to clear the point. Fine motion, holding it down as a White Mage in guard. No, oh, well, sorry, White Mage LB back up on WTF. That could still be huge if they're able to get that shot off. Well, out it goes. Will they be able to pick Fine Motion? Fine Motion running away has a big shield. Getting some intense healing has their own White Mage LB back up and Ninja. Honestly, the Kittens have an LB advantage right here and they are all five back up. Yeah, they have Depending an LB advantage, the... but they do not have the positioning. They got to get back to the point and see whether or not they can stem this bleeding, get a first pick off. They do. They do on to Finch and it looks like Fine Motion is still the kill target for Wind Trade Friends whose summoner goes down. This is going to go back to another team fight that might occur back around the middle as uh, Big Suck continues to run the point as a very wise man. Oh, that's a really rough position for a bar to be in, too. With the fact yep. that they are at a uh, percentage disadvantage, they need to have someone on the point, and given how that was positioned, it had to be the bar. That's not where he wants to out be. Goes Reaper, Reaper Fear goes out, tries to get that scam, doesn't look mm. like he's going to be able to secure it. No. Uh, Team Umbra is still in control of the checkpoint, at least. For Dipper the is moment. taking a hard beating. Will he be able to survive out of here? Buzzy LB goes off on Finch again. Looks like Bear Kittens have just decided to not let Finch play the game at this point. But there is a trade on to Tiny Sosig with that Ninja LB. That could be huge. All win trade friends need to do now is get someone below 50 and start that snowball rolling from Satan. Kasai has full mana. Out goes the first Satan. A big suck looking like the next target for the second Satan. That's two That's Satan. Two. Down goes Buzzy Wuzzy or Big uh, Mountain Boop. Mountain Boop, next Satan. Three. Buzzy Wuzzy, next target in guard. They might not be able to get him low enough before uh, the Satan falls off, but not an advantageous situation for the kittens in the slightest. Low man on Buzzy. Buzzy goes down. Uh, Tiny Sose, will they be able to Shikuchi in? No, they will not. Ah, just a dominant performance from Wind Trade Friends, even with Absolutely. such a tight match. 16 to 8. Definitely want to point out just how much damage the summoner ended up doing. Almost a million damage in this, uh, over a million damage in this six minutes and 50 seconds. Just huge performances from Wind Trade Friends well played.